Amen. Good morning. Happy New Year. New life, new year. Can you guys hear us? We need to do a sound check so if someone can say something. Can't. Hi. We can't hear you. We need to do a sound check. We need to see that we hear you guys. Can someone say something? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. Happy, Happy New Year. Lord, good to hear your voices. Amen. Happy New Year. Yes. Yeah. A new life. We got a new way of walking, a new way of talking, a new way of living, and a new way of giving. Amen. 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 This is twenty one win. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. This is not twenty twenty one. It's twenty twenty win. Amen. Winning year. Hey, how you doing there, my brother? God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So let's open up in a word of prayer. I got to try to turn it down. Um, honey, do you mind opening us up in a word yeah, of let's prayer? Let's pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you this morning for another day that wasn't promised to us. We yes. thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you continue to stir our hearts, oh God, you, to walk in truth, to walk in love and to walk in yes. uh, just the peace of God that rules our heart and our mind. Lord, I just pray that each and every one that, that's connected to us this morning via um, Zoom or, or Facebook or, or any other platform that might be connected today, God, we just pray that they begin to walk in the peace and the Lord this year like never before. God, as we humble ourselves, God, we walk in your authority, God, that you've given us to, to be free from death, from free from destruction, free from all those things that so many people are concerned with and, and, and fearful of. God, you have not given us the spirit of fear, but you have given us love. You love us, power, your presence, and a sound mind. We know that we know that we know because it's the Holy Spirit that gives us that knowledge of who you are. And so we bless you. We praise you. Lord, move by your spirit this morning. Uh, Lord, speak through us, speak through your people, God, that we would encourage one another to know that we're not alone. And we know our, our ancestor, Adam, in the beginning, he messed up. He, be, he wanted to be all by himself because he just disobeyed God. Lord, we don't want to be by ourselves. We don't want to disobey you this year. So forgive us for what we didn't accomplish and didn't do last year, but this is a new year. And so we thank you for another opportunity, another year to get it right, yes. to go deeper into our love and our relationship with you and with one another. And God, to be able to help others come to the light that shines in the face of Jesus Christ. Christ. Lord, I thank you, I bless you, thank and I you, praise Lord. you. And it is in Jesus' name. God, just move in each and every home, each and every family, each and every individual that's connected. God, even those that may not be on our service, but they're still connected by the Holy Spirit. So we just ask that you would move today in all the churches and all around the globe, my brothers and sisters all around the globe that are crying out and that are worshiping you in spirit and in truth. And we pray in Jesus' name, this will continue to go forth until you return and you, we will see you. The scripture says, we will see in a moment in a twinkling of an eye, we're gonna be changed. And so God change us in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and honor. Amen. Have your way today. Yes, in Jesus' name. Woo, amen. Amen. Good morning, family. Woo, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. Say, I will rejoice. I will. Amen. And be glad yes. in it. Yes, Hallelujah. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Deacon Leonard, come on with a scripture for us, my brother. I know you have a word in your belly. Amen. Unmute yourself. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. I did have a scripture. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to find another. All right. All right. Thank you, Lord. Give me just a minute. No problem. No problem. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to go to Proverbs. All right. And then I'm going to ask Pastor Hope if she don't mind getting Psalm 65 for me and reading that. If you don't mind reading Psalm 65 for me. Yeah. 
in which scripture? You said Proverbs speaking? Yeah, I'm going to go to Proverbs. Let me do Proverbs 6. My son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, had given your plan to a stranger, if you are snared in words of your mouth, mm. put in the words of your mouth, then do this, my son, and save yourself. But mm. you have come in the hand of your neighbor, go hasten and plead urgently with your neighbor. Give your eyes no sleep and give your eyelids no slumber. Save yourself like a gazelle from the hands of the hunger like a bird from the hands of a fowler. Mm. Go to the end, O sluggy, consider her ways and be wise. Amen. Hey, be wise. I want, it's another scripture I wanted to read. I had it just, I got family here. Everybody just coming through the door. That's all right. That's all right. Amen. Or well, if it comes to you, let me know, okay? Amen. All right. All right. Pass the hope. Yeah. Psalm 65. Okay. One. Amen. At the amplified version. Yes. Yes. Okay. And it reads, you want me to read the whole thing? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, to you belong silence, the submissive wonder of reference, which bursts forth unto praise and praise is due and fitting to you, O God, in Zion and to you shall the vow be performed. O oh, you who hear prayer to you shall all flesh come. Iniquities and much value guilt prevail against me. Yet as for our transgressions, you forgive and purge them away, make an atonement for them and cover them out of your sight. Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is the man whom you choose and cause to come near that he may dwell in your courts. He shall be Sat, satisfied with your goodness of your house, your holy temple, by fearfully glorious things that terrify the wicked, but may be godly singing praise. Do you answer us in righteousness? Righteousness and justice, oh God, our salvation, you who are the confidence and hope of all the ends of the earth and those far off on the seas. Verse 6. By who by your might have founded the mountains, being girded with power? Who shall the warring of the seas and the warring of their waves and the tomic of the peoples, so that those who dwell in the earth furthest parts are afraid of natural sights of your presence? You make the place where morning and evening have birth to shout for joy. Your vision. You visit the earth and saturated with water. You're yeah. greatly enriched it. Your river of God is full of water and you provide them with grain when you have so prepared the earth. Verse 10 reads, you water the fields fewer abundantly. You mm -hmm. settle the ridges of it. You make the soil soft with showers, blessings, the sprouting, sprouting, sprouting of its vegetation. You yeah. crown the year with your bounty and goodness and the tracks of your chariot wheels drip with fatness. The yeah. lutrins, fatness, yeah. The flourishes pastures in the uncultivating county drips with moisture and the hills gird themselves with joy. Yeah. Verse 13, yeah. the meadows are clothed with flocks and the valleys also are covered with grain. They shout for joy and sing together. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Hope. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask if Deacon Say has that other scripture before we go into our praise and worship. You have to unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, sir. Say, you have to unmute yourself. There you go. No, yeah, go ahead in, into the service. All I'll right. Try. That's okay. That's all right. Praise God. Well, let us get into our praise and our worship. Good morning to all of you. It's so good to see you this morning. And we are so blessed to be in the midst of God's presence and God's people. So thank Amen. you for joining in with us. And um, we're just going to have a good time in the Lord. Praise God. Let's get into our worship. Amen. Now, I know we don't sing this song all weekend long, but it's still on me. We still got to say goodbye to some things. Amen. Bye-bye to what's, what happened in 2020. Amen. Bye-bye to baggage. 
bye-bye to pain and sorrow, fear, amen. We're going to say goodbye to all those things, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let's get into the praise, y'all.
Hallelujah. We bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God reigns.
to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Glory to God. We thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Greater is he Hallelujah. that is in us yes. than he that's in the world. Yes, God. Come on. Hallelujah. Settle that thank in your heart you, and your mind. Thank Glory you. to God. Hallelujah. We Glory bless your name, O God. Yes. Hallelujah. Stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. 
Even when I don't see it, you're working. And even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. And even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you work it. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. And even when I don't see it, you work it. And even when I don't feel it, you work it. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. And even when I don't see it, come on, yeah. Even when I don't feel it, you work it. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. They make the miracle work. Promise people light in the darkness. My God, that is who You are. They make the miracle work. Promise people. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We give you glory, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You alone are God. He's a way. We bless you. You are worthy of all the glory, all the honor. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He's a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the way maker. Come on, we got to get out of looking with these natural eyes and, and open up our spiritual eyes, our faith, and know that he is who he said he is. Yes. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Glory to God. No man going to get to the Father. No man going to get to God. Glory to God without him. That's right. Come on. I, I've been there. I tried to do it. I know some of you is just like me. I hope you're not still there, stuck trying to figure out. You gonna yeah, think you're gonna get the guy without the way. Jesus is the way. The I just feel like you gotta life. speak some joy. Amen. Hey, my mind to the people of God. Glory, hallelujah. You got joy deep down in your soul. There is a joy that the world can't give and can't take away. So come on, let's declare. Then you give me joy. You give me joy. Down, down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. And you give me joy. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. Come on. Down deep in my soul. It's deep in my brokenness. I got you. I got you love instead of pain. And there's freedom though you capture me. I've got joy instead of mourning. I've got joy instead of mourning. You give me joy down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. Lord, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. Yes. Never, been. never been so free, calling your love for me. I've never been more secure, knowing your heart, Lord. Never been so free, calling your love for me.
joy down deep in my soul down deep in my soul down deep in my soul lord you give me joy down deep in my soul down deep in my soul down deep in my soul and you give me joy down deep in my soul down deep in my soul down deep in my soul and you give me joy down deep in my soul down deep in my soul down deep in my soul My God. Come on, declare it to yourself. Joy I've unspeakable. Joy. Come on, you got to stir it up sometimes. So, come on, the cares of this life, the cares of this Ooh. world, and the enemy is constantly trying to make you try to say you won't have what you have. No, yes. I got it. I got it. I'm good with it, God. I got the joy of the Lord, which yeah. is my strength. Come on, even when I don't feel strong, I just have to remind myself yes. I got the greater one in the inside. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Ooh, Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what's going on. Doesn't matter if you got if you lost a loved one. Doesn't matter if all these things is going on with Corona. Doesn't matter if your finances is funny. Doesn't matter if your kids acting crazy. But one thing you gotta know, you gotta know that he said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. That gives me joy. Yeah, this joy. Not happiness. Happiness yeah. is based on things that's happening. Yes. So if things ain't happening the way you want them to happen, you ain't happy. But I thank God. I give God the glory for the joy of the Lord. Say, I've got joy. I got joy. Say, I've got joy. I got joy. Say, I've got joy. I've got joy. Say, I've got joy. Come on, I've got joy. I've got joy. Everlasting joy. Unspeakable joy. Amen. Glory to Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ooh, my, my, my. Well, Hallelujah. God be the glory. We are so Amen. blessed. Hallelujah. Woo. To be here with you this morning. Come on. Wow. Keep aren't your you foot glad? on the devil's yes. neck. Yes. Aren't you glad about it? Absolutely. What God has done, how he woke you up this morning. He gave you new life. Amen. Amen. Brand new mercies. Amen. Everything's new. Everything's new every morning. Amen. Every time you wake up, it's a new morning. Amen. It's a new day. Fresh and new. It's fresh. Amen. Come on, breathe in. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, fresh air. Fresh Hallelujah. Air. air that wasn't there before. Come on. Amen. Every time you breathe in, you're breathing in his presence. Woo. Ah, glory to God. Every time you breathe out, you're exhaling all that stuff that was in you that was trying to bind you and get you sick. Come on, exhale. Say, woo, Ooh. I just waiting to exhale. Waiting to exhale. Come Amen. on. Come Hallelujah. on. Come on. Don't let the devil choke you up. No, you Ooh. choke him up with your praise. You take him, you you strangle him That's with your right. worship. That's you strangle right. him with knowing in your heart and your heart of hearts Ooh. that you got the victory. I don't care what it feel like. Come on, I woke up. Y'all, y'all messed with the wrong person this morning. I woke mm. up worshiping the Lord. Mm. And let me share this when as my wife is preparing her notes. Listen, this morning in my time of prayer, in my time of worshiping the Lord, oh my God. The Lord took me back to when I first really made up my mind. And I, and I said I re re received him and believed him for my own, not my mama's God, not my my family's God, not some my friend's God, but my God. And he revealed himself to me. And it was so strange because in my natural mind, you know, the, the, you, you, in, the, in the physical, you try to picture what Jesus might have looked like. But all I saw was a, the shape of a body, of a, of a person that was on fire, that was that was so so bright and so brilliant that I couldn't really, uh, 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 you know, explain it. But I just felt such peace and it wasn't there to hurt me or to harm me. And so the Lord reminded me of that this morning when I was worshiping and praising him and I just began to laugh and cry. But one thing I said, you know, because I start thinking, what, what, what I was thinking was, you know, all the pictures that we've seen of how man try to say what Jesus looked like. And they, you know, we don't really know. But one thing in my mind, I was like, well, no man, Going to be able to see him or know him until we get there. And this is what the Holy Spirit said. Not only will you see him, this is what made me cry, y'all. He said, Not only will you see him, but you will be like him. Ooh. Oh my God. Jeez. I said, What? I said, I'm thinking, I'm feeling my flesh, my arm oh, hurt. My God. I feel like I got something. I'm fighting a little arthritis in my hand. And But the Holy Spirit had to, and that thing brought me to my knees. I began to worship God because he said, and then 
He gave me scripture. It's, it, it's in 1 Corinthians 15, I think it's around 52, verse 52. He said, in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, woo, you're going to be changed. You're going to be transformed. You're going to be changed into the likeness of the God man, of the spirit man in heaven like Jesus. I said, good Lord Jesus. That thing made me cry and laugh all at the same time. The enemy don't want you to realize that. You he wants you to keep focusing on the flesh. He wants you to keep focusing on what's going on down yes. here. But we're going to be changed. It's yes. called a rapture. We're going we're gonna to leave here. We're going we're gonna to meet him in the, in the cloud. We're going to meet him in the sky. The Bible says that the dead in Christ will rise. They're going to rise first. So yes. even if I leave this place and go and be in that, that, that box in the ground, Hallelujah. I'm still going to rise. I'm still going be changed. I'm still going to be like him. So don't be tripping because somebody passed on and went on to be with the Lord. No, you better worship. You better make sure you got your heart and your life and your mind right. Amen. You better know who Jesus is. You better see him. Jesus. You better want to see him. You better want to change. I want to change. I want to change. And I'm Amen. changing right here, right now. Right now. I don't think like I used to think. That's I don't right. even preach like I used to preach. I don't even love my wife like I used to love her. It's greater. It's because great. I understand that all authority comes from the great authority. And that's, that's God. Right. That's right. God himself. Yes. So how can I love you if I don't first acknowledge and love him and love myself? Because he created me in his image. In his Let me quit. Image. Ah. Man, Man, we, I got we y'all got to understand we got so much working in our hearts and my, in our minds right now. I don't know what way we going. Yes. We just going to flow. We 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 got notes, but you know how it is. When you know that you've been in time, you spend time yes. with the Holy Spirit and it don't matter. The notes don't matter. What matters is his presence. What matters is if he, we allow him to use us to first deal with us. Amen. And then we can pass it on to somebody else. But if you stuck on stupid, oh. leaning on dumb, still trying to figure out if he did what he did and said who he is and who he and say who he is and, and be who he is, no, no, he is. He's the comforter. He comes right alongside. You know. Yes. See, the enemy should have got me when I ain't know no better. Sure, should have. But see, the the God I serve, he said, uh, uh, I got your heads then. I got some. See, I see you way down the road. I see you completed. I see you in the image of my son. You still don't see yourself yet how I see you. Yes, yes. But anyway, yes. Oh, glory to I God. I tell you what, I'm telling you, when you're on fire for the Lord, um, I, you just you just got to think about it. It's like, I'm still here. Just think about it. I'm still here. A lot crap. has happened over this past year. Amen. A whole lot has happened. Come on. Each and every one of us, I'm sure we got a story to tell about how 2020 has been for us. Amen. We all have a story to tell, but I'm still here. Still here. I'm still here. Still many have praise. gone on. Still able to many, worship. many people have gone on with the Lord prayerfully. Amen. But I'm still here. So what you going to do? What you going to do about the fact that you're still here? Amen. What you going to do with your life? Amen. Hallelujah. I'm still here. Why? Because God says we have a purpose. Amen. You have a purpose. That's why you're still here. Hallelujah. You still have a purpose on this earth. He still wants to use you while you're still here on this earth. Say, I'm still here. I'm still here. And I'm still standing. And I'm still standing. Amen. Hallelujah. We are pressed down, but not destroyed, right? Amen. Hallelujah. With trouble on every side. Hallelujah. But we're not destroyed. Cast down, but not destroyed. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are still here. We are still standing. That's something to rejoice about. Hallelujah. Can I can I say this, hon? Yes. I, I know. Oh my God. This is as my wife was talking, I this is what came up in my spirit. I, I'm trying to be cool. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be chill. Just Come on now. but listen, I, I thought about the, the 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 attack of the enemy, the deception. That the enemy came at Eve, our our ancestor, our 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 our, 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 our physical mother, who who brought forth this death in the earth. What ha the devil was lying to her to try to get her to feel like God was keeping something from her, and God really wasn't keeping anything from us. Matter of fact, He gave her everything because He gave her His presence, mm. the anointing. That's why they were naked and they became ashamed because. The, his presence, his anointing, his glory was lifted off of them because of disobedience. And so they they felt all alone. 
So let me help somebody here on this line. Let me help myself. So whenever you feel alone, know that it's the devil. Know that it's the deception. Because when you're giving your life to Christ, he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So what happened is they felt all alone. And so when they thought they, that God was holding something back from them, you and the devil's constantly, he's a liar. He's got the, he ain't got nothing new. Same old lie, same old tricks. Same old deception. Mm -hmm. You are all by yourself. No, I'm not. <laughs> See, and that's what happened when Adam fell, he became all alone. Even though he was with his wife, he felt alone. Even though he 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 was the Bible says that he didn't have a companion till God made the woman for him, right? So God knew he, he, he wasn't even alone then because God was with, with him. So God hooked him up in the natural with a wife. But in the, be, in the beginning, it was all spiritual. He wasn't alone. He was one with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Can, I, can somebody understand where I'm going? Right. Somebody understand what's going on? You got to understand, when you receive Jesus Christ, you became enveloped. You became baptized yeah. in the body of Christ in the body, and that body what did what? It went in the grave and it came up in the grave. And the Bible says that we're seated in heavenly places in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. So you're never alone. You got to get back in the spirit. You got to open up your spiritual eyes. You got to stay in that word. You got to keep that word before you. Every time I get deceived is when I take my eyes off the word. That's right. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus in Hebrews, who's the author right. and the finisher of my faith. Finish. How am I going to look unto Jesus? Is by faith in that in his word? That's right. What he said. That's right. So, like I'm I said, you, we're not we, alone. We are not alone. We are never alone. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And we have to remind ourselves Whew. of that. Because like my husband said, the enemy want to get us all tripped up and all off in left field. But no way. No way. You have to say, oh, no. The word of God tells me I am never alone. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. Yes. Amen. He's leading and he's <laughs> guiding me. Come on. Hallelujah. He's leading me and he's guiding me. Absolutely. Goodness and mercy is following me, so I'm surely not alone. I'm not alone. I got goodness and mercy with me. What up? What up, y'all? Amen. I am not alone. Ooh, when you feel alone, just turn around and say, hey, mercy, hey, goodness, what's up? I know y'all with me. Amen. I got my girls with me. Amen. The God, I got my boys with me. Goodness and mercies with me. Amen. So I am not yeah. alone. He got I am not in. alone. He is, we are hedged in. We just want to encourage. Yes, <laughs> we are hedged in with goodness and mercy. My <laughs> goodness and mercy. That's right. Amen. Look, we just wanted to encourage you guys in this new year. Amen. We just wanted to encourage Come you on. this new year. Yeah. This yeah. is the year that we win. Uh, as apostles say, this is the year of debt release as well. Amen. This is the year of debt release. And you know what? We're going to win in 2020 win. Amen. And I don't even say 2021. I say 2020 win because we are going to win this year. Amen. So um, I had Pastor Hope read this earlier. Psalm 65. Let's go to 65, 11 and 12. Psalm 65, 11 and 12. And again, we just want to leave you with a word of encouragement uh, this year. Amen. And it says, you crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Okay, so I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. I love how it says, even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Let's just stop right there. 2020 was a hard pathway. But we still overflowed with abundance. Amen? Did we not? Amen. Come on now. Many of you can attest to the fact that it was a hard pathway. He crowned the year. That means every year. So this word right here is good for every year. Amen? He crowned the year with bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. How many were overflowing with abundance last year? Even though it was a hard pathway, even, even though we, we were laid on. off, even ah. though uh, people were dying from coronavirus, <laughs> Ooh, amen. Jesus. Even though it, it, the, the, the whole states, United States was shut down, we were overflowing with abundance, amen. Yes. Hallelujah. The grasslands of the wilderness become a lush pasture and the hillsides blossom with joy. Let me tell you something. God has crowned this year. Amen? And this is a word for every year. Not just last year, this year too. 
this year has been crowned. What does it mean to crown? My mother gave a Bible study. She was talking about um, how she loved grammar. I love grammar too. I should have been a grammar teacher. I always say I should have been a grammar teacher and a Spanish teacher. Like those are the two subjects that I really enjoyed and think I would excel in. So um, an English teacher. So she was saying about how just like, you know, we learned what a noun was, a person, place, a thing, a verb, you know, action verb, all of that good stuff, right? And we had to break down the sentences to see what it meant. And I love doing that with the word of God. Amen. So look, and, and, and then what I love, what she said further was that um, we have to know the word just like we know that a noun is a noun. Because we learned that, that a noun is a person, place, a thing. So you can't argue it. That's what it is. And the same thing with the word of God. I was like, all right, mama, go ahead with your bad self. She said, we got to know the word just like we know that a noun is a noun. Hello. Amen. All right. Well, look right. here. A crown. A crown. What does it mean? What is a noun? A crown. It's a thing. And it says it's a circular ornamental headdress worn by a monarch as a symbol of authority. Amen. Usually made of or decorated with precious metals and jewels. Amen. So it's a very expensive piece of jewelry that is worn on the head of someone to represent authority. But this is what God is doing to this year. Amen. He is crowning this year. Amen. And, and then the verb to crown, to crown means to recognize officially as, amen. So officially we are recognizing this year as a year of authority. Amen. Mm. This year has been crowned. Come on. Come on, y'all. Yield to him. This is a year of authority. Amen. It has been made official. He has crowned this year, hallelujah, with what? Bountiful harvest. That's why this is the year of debt release, because he has crowned this year with bountiful harvest. Amen. And even if you do have a hard pathway this year, it's still going to overflow with abundance. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of his presence. Because of him. <laughs> now, nothing you've done. Amen. <laughs> this all because of God and to God's glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we also realize that when something is crowning, I don't know, ladies that have had children can identify with that. When a baby is crowned, that means the head is there and it's ready. You know, if you're crowning birth. the baby, mm -hmm. you're ready to it's, birth. It's Amen. It's, that baby is coming. Come on. Amen. So it's the same thing here that the Lord is saying. That there is a birthing happening this year. He is crowning this year. In Jesus. other words, whoa, there's a birth. Hallelujah. There's a birthing happening this year. Amen. The baby's coming. Hallelujah. Get ready. Get in position and get ready to birth Come because on. the baby's crowning. Hallelujah. So that means that we've been pregnant with possibility. Yeah. We've been pregnant with some things, but the enemy's been lying to us, mm. telling you just had a bellyache. No, God has impregnated us with his purpose and his plan, and he's ready to birth some things this year. So we have to be ready, get in position, getting that birthing position of prayer and worship and surrender and submission saying, hey, it's coming, so I wanted to come. I don't want to stop it. I don't want to block it. I don't want to be a hindrance. I'm not going to do crazy things Ooh. to hinder this from being brought forth. It's crowning. It's ready. And I'm, I want everything that God... How about you? You ever say that? I want everything, everything that God has, has for me. If it's going to be one or twins or triplets or quadruplets, whatever, birth it, Lord. Birth it, Lord. And you know what? It's a very, very critical place in the birthing process. When that baby's crowning, ain't no stopping it. And if you try to, that's going to be a problem for the mother and the baby. Amen? But no, you got to let it come forth. God is crowning this year. And you know what? He used all of last year to incubate you. Amen? To take care of you through throughout that birthing process, to hide you in his presence. He gave you plenty of time, amen, to be in his presence, amen, so that you can be ready to birth this year, amen. So we can look at last year as something that's bad and stressful and this and any other, but it was a time of refreshing, amen. It was a time of preparation, amen. God was preparing us and he was just keeping us, hallelujah, so, uh, quarantine if you would, for, a, for such a time as this, to be able to birth effectively, amen? A lot of creativity came forth last year, amen? People got closer to the Lord like never before. People uh, developed new skills and new languages, and all kinds of things were happening last year. Why? Because we had the time to do it, amen? But now God says it's time to birth, amen? 
God says he is crowning this year. The baby's coming. Let's go. Amen. Amen. That's what the word of the Lord is saying. Let's go. It's time. Ain't no stopping it. And hallelujah. I'm crowning this year with bountiful harvest. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What's that old worldly song? Ain't no stopping us now. We on the move. move. Hey. Oh, come on. Ooh, Are you in the move in the spirit? Oh. Are you still stuck? Oh, no, no, no. This. Come on. Ooh. Bust it up. I, I know some of the ooh. family you members you, you concerned ahead. about. Don't worry about them. You better get yours, baby. Get you got to bring forth. You know, you ain't worrying about if, if the, the husband didn't Ooh. show up or the wife didn't. No, if a wife is pregnant, if the husband's still at work or whatever, she's going to have that baby. So you, if you're pregnant right now with possibilities and purpose for right. God, you better birth that thing. Stop worrying about everybody else. Come on. You, you got the midwife. He right there helping you. Yes, called right. the Holy Spirit. Hey. He's trying to help you bring forth that thing that everybody said you couldn't do, you wasn't able to yep. do. Come on. You're going to stand before the king and say, yep, this is the baby that you, you, you brought forth, God. That's right. Let it come forth, y'all. Another another um, word for, I mean, another meaning for crowning, because you had said something about a movement. Amen. And remember last year we had the bling movement and I can't wait for this year. We're going to have the bling movement again. Whether we'll be together on Zoom, I don't know, to be determined. But bottom line, the movement is coming. But crowning is also a movement. Amen. Just like with birthing, when you're defecating, like if you got to go to the bathroom, okay, I'll put it in layman's term. You got to go to the bathroom. Amen. You got movement. Hey, Whoop, I got the bubbles. It, it's coming. It's crowning. Amen. Help me. I got to get into the toilet. Open up the door. I got I to get, get rid of this stuff, right? <laughs> Amen. So that's another thing God is doing. He's getting rid of some things. So there's some things that are crowning that you got to get out. It's got to go. Hey, Ooh, if you ever held back you. on having to go to the bathroom, I'm talking about number two, y'all, okay? But remember, if you ever hold back on to the bathroom, what happens? You get backed up. Amen? You mm. get constipated. Mm. It is not a good thing to hold back when something you is crowning. spiritual constipation. Whether it be birthing or whether it be defecating, whether it be getting rid of waste. Come Amen? On. When it's crowning, you best to go. I hope Amen? you're helping somebody. I hope I am, hope too. Somebody hearing but us. you don't want to hold that in. Hallelujah. So whatever it is Jesus. that you haven't gotten rid of yet, because see, last year was the year to get rid of come all on. of that. Unforgiveness, stuff. whatever. Whatever is Hurts, crowning from the past. Come on. That needs whatever. to go. Come on. Hallelujah. Go ahead and get it out. Bad relationships. Sometimes family members. Come on. Sometimes church folks. Yep. Don't let me, hold let, it back. Let me stop. Come on now. Don't hold it back because there will be constipation. There will be pain. Amen. You don't want that, amen, because we're going into a new beginning here, amen. God is crowning this year with bountiful harvest, and we don't want to miss it because we're constipated. If you're constipated and in pain, you don't have time to be enjoying nothing because you're sick. You don't feel good, amen. Have you ever been constipated before? <laughs> I know we can all relate to that. I'm talking to human beings on this on this here. I don't think I'm talking to any robots, amen. So we have all experienced being constipated it is not a good feeling it is not a good feeling and you can't enjoy anything amen but god wants us to enjoy the year that has been crowned with bountiful harvest and we can't enjoy it if we're holding on to things that need to be gone needs wow. that is crowning also and it needs to be let go you got to go to the bathroom you got to get that thing out flush it down the toilet and never see it again goodbye goodbye that's why we keep singing that song so long bye bye Amen. I don't want no parts of it. It's got to go. I don't want no parts of that no more. So long. Goodbye. Hallelujah. Get out of my life. Get out of my heart. Get out of my spirit. Amen. Get out of my mind. Amen. I don't want to hold on to those things. I don't want to be constipated with that, those, those negative things. Amen. Hallelujah. Goodbye negativity. Goodbye fear. Come on. All those things have got to go. You got to go. It's crowning. And you know you feel it right there. Come on, y'all. I know it sounds like it's nasty or whatever, but come on. We we all come been on. there. We all go Earth's to the bathroom. Pain. We all oh, go to the bathroom. So, and if you don't, that's a problem too. You need to go to the doctor because that's a problem if you don't know if you don't have a way to get rid of waste out of your body. Amen. But when it's crowning and when you feel it there and you gotta go, you better get up and go. Don't hold it back. We are all famous for doing that. I don't feel like sitting on the toilet right now and you gotta sit. And you got to wait. Sometimes you do. You have to just sit and wait until it all come out. Amen? But let it out. 
Don't hold it back. Don't get yourself backed up. Don't get yourself constipated because you want to be able to enjoy this bountiful harvest that God has prepared for us this year. Amen. Hallelujah. Go to Psalms 34 and 8. Again, we just want to encourage you today. Hallelujah. He has crowned this year with a bountiful harvest and even the hard places, mm, 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 even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Praise God. Psalm 34 and 8 says, Oh, taste, taste and see, see that the Lord, Lord is, our God good. is good. Yes. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. What does yours say? You have the amplified up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go it says, um, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Our God is good. Mm -hmm. Who blessed. For, uh, how blessed? How, how blessed, excuse yes. me. Fortunate, uh, prosperous, and favored by God is the man who, who takes refuge in him. Wow. So look, we're going to taste of God's goodness this year. Yes, we are. We're going to taste of God's goodness. We're going to experience. We've been tasting it, but it's going to be greater now. We're going to see it too. Yeah. That's what's going on. We're going to see it because before we, we weren't, it's, it's like we said, we were, I, I remember Pastor Hope when she was starting her business, we used to talk about this and pray about it all the time, that she was talking about her baby. God mm -hmm. has given her a baby. And this is what I want us to all realize. And, and so you may be saying strange to men yeah. because men, we don't, you know, we, we have the seed that we impregnate into mm -hmm. the, the womb or the soil of a woman, of our wife, our spouse. But the fact of the matter is in the spirit, we all birthing. That's it. And so God is using us. We, we, the Bible calls us the church and the church as a, as a woman, as a bride. And he, and so he wants to, so, so women, you, you know, you're the bride in the natural and you're the bride in the spirit. See men, we, we had a room in the, in, in, in the natural, but in the spirit, we're the bride as well. So there's some things that he's birthing, that he's birthed in us that he wants to now bring forth in this year, in this season. And we have to be open and willing to do what needs to be done. We have to eat right. We have to exercise. You know, come on, even though a woman is pregnant, she still got to get up and walk. See, you know, they said those things are those are some of the things that will help the birth come forth on, on, on this in the right time. Yeah. And so a lot of times we 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 don't realize that truth is parallel. So it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. So we are birthing some things this year that we may have been carrying. Ah, my, 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 my. I don't know what you've been carrying, Deke. I don't know what you've been carrying, you know, uh, Denise. I don't know what you've been carrying, all those that are on the line. I don't know. But you got to realize that you've been been impregnated by the spirit of God with his word. And now you got to begin to know that he wants to birth it and he wants to bring it forth. So you got to, it, it comes forth by faith. Yes. You got to know that. You see, God don't have no no uh, uh, no weak seed or, or, or no dead seeds. No, no, no. Anything he his word, whatever he sent his word out to do is will be it will perform it. It will bring it to pass. So what's that word that that he 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 planted in your spirit mm. for this year? Well, I'm just gonna give you one little thing. This year I'm getting my house. That that's just been in my spirit for going from one year to the new year. And, and, and I'm not saying it because I got the money right and I, I know what, I don't know all that. But one thing I know, this is what I felt as though it was birthed in my spirit yes. at the beginning of the year, that you got to go after it this year. Because now my my mind is right. I realized that, hold up, I've been pregnant by this thing for a while. I've been carrying this baby too long. Mm. I got to get this thing out because I don't want it to die. Mm -hmm. huh? You know, it's kind of like when you got different fruits on, on, on the tree on, on the yeah, vine you, you can't you you got to harvest this thing because it'll begin to rot on the on, on the vine it'll begin to rot on the tree and so truth is parallel so there's some seeds of god's word some things that and i'm looking at you know i see deke on the line you know he the lord has put a, a, a word in his spirit that he's gonna have a job he's gonna he want he's gonna get what he want and he, everything he asked for he got it mm. Now, now, once we get it, we got to continue to maintain our relationship and our submission and our obedience to God to keep it. Because I got just what I wanted. I remember my, my ex-wife, she said, you got just what you prayed. But then I didn't realize something. I took my eye off of God. I took my eye off the authority, the great one. And, and, and so what happens is we can lose the very blessing, the very baby that he birthed through us because of us trying to do it without him. You got to remember, he the father. 
<laughs> you got to remember, he, he's the head. The Bible says that if you want to spoil a man's good, you must first bind a strong man. He's the strong man. He's the husbandman. So you got to stay connected Amen. to the vine. You got the wife got to stay connected to her husband because he's going the one that's going he's the, the that's going to spearhead us through to the next next dimension, the next place where God is trying to take us. All right, so God. let me help you. We're we're pregnant. Go ahead, tell yourself, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant with possibilities. I don't yes. know what God, yes. how many blessings and what God is going to do in this season, but I'm going to bring forth what he's put in my spirit. If I have to preach to somebody, I'm going to preach to myself. If, if I get whatever it is, I'm going to speak what he said, speak. I'm going to do what he told me to do so I can bring forth that which he wants to bring forth because that's the issue. He wants to use us. He created us in Genesis to say what? Let us make man in our image and give them dominion. Yes. Teamwork. God is always a team player. Always. But we want to, I don't need nobody. Yeah. Aunt, wrong answer. That's your problem, boo. You, you thinking you don't need nobody. And the fact of the matter is you think you all that. But every time you turn around, who you have to go reach out and help somebody or get somebody to help you. Because that's the way, way God created us. That's the way he did. We got to be family. We have to be a team. Thank you. No I in team. No I in team. You know? And we got to be one. And that's what the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit want, that unity. So this year, if nothing else, let's grow in our unity. Let, listen, we might have had some issues in the past or a little friction or whatever the devil was trying to do through my misunderstanding, her misunderstanding. Listen, we understand now. It's God's authority. He put us together. So whatever you want to do, Father, birth it. Mm -hmm. It's birthing time. It's birthing time. Amen. Amen. And you know what? We constantly say, you know, look back, look back. But we're talking about looking back over what God has done for right. you. Don't look back forward. over all the negative stuff. Because, I mean, you will go in circles on that stuff. It ain't even worth going backwards. But God says, look, look unto him, of course, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. But not only that, look back over what he's done, how victorious you are. How victorious you were. Come Amen. On. Look at the good things. Let us let us focus on the good things yeah. from now on. Amen. Let that be a goal. You know how we write goals and stuff for the new year. But let us stay positive. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We want to look back over the good things Woo. that God has done for us. Not to keep looking back over what happened and, um, you know... It, it's just like a moot point at this point. What is that going to do for you? Amen. But get you all upset and, and sick again. Get you in the flesh. All, all right. Amen. So let's look back over Stay what has God has done. If you're going to look back, look at look back at that. And the Bible says, think on these things. Amen. Those things that are lovely. Amen. Yeah. So I, I just hear when you look back 2020, right? You, you know, 2020 is good vision, right? So you got to understand. So when you do look back on 2020, always realize the good. Good. There's a lot of good. You got sight good sight. I, 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 2020. 2020 I see God. I see God moving very clearly. Yes. Yeah. People had Corona. Folks died, but I'm still here. Um. He's still using me. I'm still anointed. Mm -hmm. I'm still appointed. Hey, glory to God. He he still has a purpose and a plan for my life. Yes. 2020 was a good year. It was a good year. Come Amen. on. Amen. Amen. And we're going from 20. This is what the Lord gave me. We're going from 2020 vision to success. So we're going from 2020 vision right on into success. God showed us some things last year in 2020. Amen. God showed us a whole lot of things. Like Amen. I said, even during that quarantine, having that time, all that time on our hands right. to, to think and to reflect. Amen. To reset. To, to reset. reset. That's Remember? Good. Reset is still Re relevant. Amen. Recalculate. We got to recalculate. And God gave us the time to do those things. Praise God. So wow. we're going from 2020. Right on into success. That's why I said it's welcome to 2020 win. Amen. Welcome to 2020 win. Today is January 3rd, 2020 win. That's just going to be my new thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we win in this season. Praise God. And you know what? Just like I said, I'll taste and see that the Lord is good. That's what we're going to do. We're going to see what we've been praying for. We will see this year the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. I want y'all to just hold on to that to th this morning. Hold on to that for this year. We're going to taste and see that the Lord is good. We're going to taste of his goodness. We're going to see his goodness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are, um, this is the word the Lord gave me and many of you may have heard it. Many may not. I don't know who all was on uh, yesterday, but um, hallelujah. And he said it like this and I wrote it down. He said this 
Hold on, let me get it because I didn't write it down. This is the year 2020 win. We win. And everything that you put your hands to do in this season, you will win. Amen. Amen, says the Lord. And we will win in our finances. We'll win in our families. We win, amen, in our walk with Christ. We win in our health. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We win. Come on, Hallelujah. fight the good fight of faith. And everything and everyone that is attached to us wins. wins. Stay connected. Amen. Stay submitted. Stay so committed. everyone that's connected to you, everyone that's attached to you, to you. everything that's attached to you wins. Amen. This year is our year. Glory to God. A new way, a new life, a new year. 2020 win. Amen? Amen. Amen. Receive that for yourself today. Ah, glory Receive God. what the Lord is saying. This year he has crowned. Oh my, my, my. That means we have authority in this year. We walk as kings and queens in this year. Amen? Glory to God. Let me, let me say this real quick. And this, this is what we have to understand, that it, it's all about authority. And, and you got to realize that true authority is spiritual because God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So everybody that's in authority, when they don't acknowledge the great authority, who is God, they get thrown down. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, Satan or Lucifer became Satan or the devil, because he wanted to usurp authority over the great authority mm. father god that ain't that couldn't happen see you bam thrown to the earth so so how about you are you now in that earth situation thrown earthy thinking carnal and fleshly or have you acknowledged the great authority that's mm. in you See, that's why a lot of people are running around after material things, running after stuff, looking for more trinkets, more toys, and, and looking for more money. The Bible said that the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. So it's not the money. And see, money is a neutral. So it's not the money. It's the heart of the person not realizing the great authority of God, that everything belongs to him. He is the king of kings, the Lord of lords. And so if, if you're struggling with anything this year, don't struggle with that. Get that settled in your heart and your mind mm -hmm. to know that all authority comes from God. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I've been meditating on. And, and, and we're going to see him. And not only are we going to see him, but we're going to be like him. Whoo, going to be transformed. You know, I was like, really? This, I'm thinking, oh, woe is me. That changed my mindset. Mm -hmm. Because once I began to realize he's transforming us right here, right now, as with our our new way of thinking, yes. understanding spiritually, I've been born again. And so as I'm growing, come on, see, he's birthing some things in us. He's birthing new ideas to realize that you are who I said you are if you receive it and believe it, stand on my word. Amen. So the enemy is constantly trying to lie to us, try to lie to you, trying to lie and deceive us and tell us you're not going to be like God. No, I'm already like God. Yeah. I'm already seated in heavenly places right now. I just got to go through this situation, this season down here. I'll never die because mm -mm. <laughs> he dealt with the spirit of death. Jesus died for me. Amen. He died in our place. Yes, and did. so this is what we have to understand. So the devil is constantly trying to deceive us and get us to be earthy yeah. when we are spirit. Because the great authority gave us authority to come into his presence. Come boldly to the throne of grace. Yes, we're in this world. So, so when you're not praying, when I'm not praying, when I'm not in the word, I'm not spiritual. I'm earthy. Mm. You, we, 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 we're, we're looking at it from a, a, a natural, natural, a physical, carnal. carnal, material mindset. Oh, how am I do? Eh, uh, no, it doesn't matter. Mm. What matters is... Get in the spirit, you Look know, you, and that's, that's what the scripture says in Galatians. He said, if you, what's going what, you know, if you, if you walk in the spirit, if you stay submitted yeah. to the authority, you won't fulfill the, you lust. won't fulfill the lust of the dirt, the earthy. Wow. Look at 
That's good. So let me let me just That's really so good. I just want to help us understand God is doing something. It's it's all in our mind. The enemy is trying to make us focus on the earthy. We'll focus on the flesh, focus on material, focus on the physical instead of realizing because he knows that when we know who we are in oh God boy. and who God is in He's us, in he has no victory over yep. us. He's in trouble. He has no victory over our marriage. He has no victory over our finances. He has no victory over our children. He has no victory over the authority that God has given us. So the devil know us better than we know ourselves. Yeah. He don't even we, we don't even realize that he realizes that if we learn who we really are, we are forced to be reckoned with. Yes. Because he's defeated. Amen. Amen. We're more than conquerors. He's a defeated foe, but he's a liar. He's a trickster. He's a con artist. Mm. He's a deceiver. Mm. Don't let him deceive you. Mm. Come on. Mm. That's what I learned this morning, y'all. That's what that's why I, I fell on my knees and start crying because the Holy Spirit say, say you going he, he said you're gonna be like him. You already like them, but you just got to go through this life season of life. This is, he said, one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like unto one day to God. We just got to keep our focus and stay in the spirit, keep our mind looking unto Jesus. I already got the victory. Already, I'm I'm already a partner. Already, I'm already covered in the blood. I'm already washed. I'm already, it's already done in the mind of God. Mm. But we're in our mind and not thinking about his mind. That's why we got to stay in the word. The word is the mind of God. He spoke it. The, the word became flesh and it dwelled among us. Yes. And he's trying to show us if you walk like Jesus, you're going to flow like God. That's it. That's right. That's right. Amen. So this is a new year, a new way. And, and um, I wrote a song that uh, my, my, my dad, my stepdad in uh, Williamsport, Pastor um, Al, he did the music. And um, I have my girls singing on it. And I want to play that song. Amen. Look, we do own the rights to this song. Amen. <laughs> I like saying that. You know, you always have to say that on social media, that you don't own the rights to this music. Otherwise, it'll shut you down. They'll actually turn off the volume of your video and everything. But... I do own the, I own the rights to this song, y'all. Hey, amen. amen. So I just want to play that song, and um, we got a new way. God has given us new life, and and this is a new year. So let's just walk in it, amen. Amen. Praise God. So hold on a second. Amen. Thank As you, I Jesus. I get that up, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you haven't gotten your copy yet, you can find it on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, all that good stuff. Just search new life and then put my name and it'll come up. Amen. Praise God. So just um I'm just gonna listen to this song real quick and I pray that it encourages you. Does everyone see that? Can you hear that? That's good. That's Liberty, by the way.
more to record. I was like, God, whew, I can't even keep up. But I just thank God, you know, for uh, the ministry of music because that, you know, we all know how powerful music is. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. So we want to get the message out the to the world. Knows. Amen. He uses it. Yes, he does. He knows the power. But we just want to get that music out to all the world, to the nation. That Hey, you know what? You can have new life too. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Well, that's all we have for Amen. today. Hope y'all enjoyed uh, the flow today because we just kind of flowed. Um, and, and you're going to see more of this because it, it ain't about us. It's about him. So I just we just want the Holy Spirit to use us. And, and anyone in the spirit will know that we're in the spirit. Amen. But if you ain't in the spirit and you're you used to religion and you're used to, you know, cookie cutter being in the box, well, you're going to miss us <laughs> because we, we we out of the box. Yeah. All right? So, um we love everybody. We so love you guys. Did we have any announcements or anything? Did you? Uh, well, let's see. Today Sunday. Uh, what, what's going on? We have Monday prayer. Amen. Um, so Deaconess Denise will be on the prayer line on Monday morning. So uh, Monday evening, seven to eight. So we ask that y'all support. Praise God. Wednesday we have Bible study. Amen. Thursday we have our power. Praise God. And it's Saturday, so we're back on track. Saturday we have our um, covenant service as well. 10 30 and possibly prayer that evening so and then we're back on sunday and it just keeps on going amen <laughs> hallelujah so does anyone have anything they want to share or prayer request before we let out oh we didn't we didn't take up our tithes and offering but guess what you know what i love it y'all done gave already that's what i love about y'all it's already done praise god but those of you who still um want to sow into this ministry to give your tithes or give your offering you can do so at cash app f-i-w-c york and uh or go to freedomyork.com and hit donate and you can uh, donate there as well so we thank you for your giving praise god and we thank god how he's moving in our giving i'm telling you like he is meeting the need let me tell you Amen. isn't he he has met our every need I don't have no complaints, y'all. Well, I'm I'm just thanking God because um, we 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 really locked in with Apostle and Pastor Cordy that, and, and we hope that you guys are locking in with us. But we're we're getting, you know, we're getting out of debt. We're not just getting out of debt; we're staying out of debt. That's what I love about Deke. You know, even, even though you know Deacon Leonard man was wasn't working, he, he he understood something. He had already stored up some things when he was working. Amen. And and I just thank God for that man of God because the Lord is really moving in his life, man. I, I'm seeing growth and he flowing in the spirit, getting more humble. You know, we we still a little sharp because you know that's that's how we are. We you know come on we we can't get rid of who we are. You know because so for so long people misunderstood us, but because we love God and and we love God's people, He's bringing people around us that understand us that know that man we got a good heart and that's, that's what right. I, I love about. So this this is where we are as a people. Yeah, yeah. We have good hearts. We love God. And we love God's people. Yeah, we got we 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 not perfect, but the God in us is perfect. Yeah. And so if you can love me, I can love you because you ain't perfect either. Yeah. So let's keep on letting God have His way in our lives and um, just we we not just getting out of debt. We staying out of debt. Staying. We we understanding what that's God is key. doing, man. And that's the that's what my wife and I have grasped and got a hold to um, this year. That's why we we're really pushing. For folks to begin to to say, and and I like what um, uh, Pastor uh, 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 Julian 
said from Texas. Uh, she C said that C note. <laughs> and I and I was like, hold on, I ain't heard that in a long time. And I said, hold on, what the I looked it up and that's really it's actually in the in the Roman numeral Cent, it, 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 you oh. know it was actually it, it means a hundred. It means a hundred. And a yeah. C. And that's why they had put a C on the on the, on a hundred dollar bill. But anyway, I was like, get out of here. And, you know, yeah. And so so I just encourage you to make sure you save for tomorrow and prepare for your children's future. And, you know, my wife and I, have been, we've been really pushing insurance and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it's different now. We understand it's not just about getting whole life insurance because you get whole life insurance. That's a rip off a gimmick. No, you got to learn how to control your own money. And that's what I love about Deke. I said all that to say this because that brother, you know, showed me some things, man. Yeah. He's he been controlling every dollar, every dime. And, and he blessed me because he made me reach towards where he is with good credit. Because, you know, in the natural, that's what we need in the world. You need good credit. They you know. So they want to know that you're going to pay me back. So that's how we're going to get our business. That's how we're going to get our homes. That's how we're going to get our properties. That's how we're going to get what we need to do because we're doing what God told us to do. We're getting out of debt. We're going to stay out of debt because debt is a spirit. And the only spirit I want to be full of is the Holy Spirit. That's right. Hey. So I just encourage everyone, <laughs> let's move forward. Um, and, and let God use us to a greater degree to be a blessing. You know, we're, we're givers, just like our Heavenly Father. He gave, Jesus gave his life, you know, and so we have to begin to continue to give into missions, continue to be a blessing. You know, oh man, it's I just could go on and on and on that as God continue to bless us, he's blessing us to be a blessing. How can I bless somebody if I'm still looking for a handout, looking for somebody, you know, help? help i'm drowning no i'm learning how to swim in this yeah. in this financial thing praise this god. financial pool how about you praise god all right amen does so anybody have anything they want to share before we we're going to open up the floor you can unmute yourself um i see morris i see angela who's 570-506-0155 i don't recognize i know 570 is yeah deacon yeah the g in my name stands for God, God in my heart. So that's what the G stands for. <laughs> God my heart. I read, I read. God is in my heart. All right. You know, like say for this son, you know what I'm saying? That G stands for God, God in my heart. Amen. You know, I just thank God, you know. I, I, you know, with me in the flesh and in the spirit, I can honestly say I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for this team, you know. It's, you know, and, and that's how I feel. And it's you know when you could feel that way in both in the flesh and in the spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I would be without y'all. You know, yeah. yeah, you know this. You know, I don't know just to see. I, you know, you don't always. Everything is not meant to be seen every all the time, but. You know, to feel the vibe, even my kids, when they walk through the door, and I got, you know, I ain't into traffic. But to know, everybody know, when this laptop is on, I'm at church. You know what I'm saying? To just see them, just want to just say hi. You know, it's a blessing. It, you know, because I sometimes I got to um, check myself. Because sometimes, it, you know, I tell me and dad say that to us all the time when we talk. We learn it that the issues be us. And when we check ourselves, we see how God just opened up a lot of things that it's not for us to open up. It's for him to the develop in Make us. See God. Amen. 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 So thank you, moms and dads, because I know y'all be praying for me over there. Yeah, we love you, man. We, <laughs> we just thank God for the growth and, and the maturity that we, we've seen, you know, especially when you called me, I called you on the job, and I didn't know you was on the job, but, you know, just to hear um, your growth, man, and, and how you, you know, you, you just really submit, and, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm studying on spiritual authority and how we, we have to realize all authority God has put in place, and so when we don't surrender and submit to authority in the realm that we're supposed to, then we're really coming against God's will, and so that's why we have to know. You have to, it's balance. Everything that God is in control of everything, but we have to allow him to be the leader of our hearts and our life to say, you know what, even though I might be right, I'm not fighting. My, my God is, he fights my battle. And so I'm learning, man, that, you know, a lot of times we foul up stuff because we get in the way. 
instead of getting out of the way and just worship God and, and let God um, deal with it. And now, don't get me wrong, there's some things we do have to deal with, but we have to make sure we're where God wants us to be. Amen. So we huh? know what to do. Amen. So we Let me let you say hi to Uh oh, you gotta unmute yourself again. What happened? What were you saying? Leonard, hi. Uh -huh. Unmute yourself again, Leonard. Who's that? Hi. My grandson. I'm giving him take young man. I'm giving him take a DNA. No. He real light. He, he real, he <laughs> he real handsome. He's family, though. He said, look, I'm family. Look at him. Hey, he, he's he looking at you sideways. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm looking at him sideways, too. Oh, Jesus, help me. <laughs> Any, anybody else? That's the whole, anybody? Not a lot. Turn it again. Oh, you're funny. I just want to say thank you so much for the word today, because just to start off the new year of just seeing what God has in our life and just that prophetic word that you gave us where it was like 2020, like we were, you know, preparing for our success for this year. And I like that scripture of um, Psalm 65 or what you said about the, um, even though the hard pathways or the hardship, there's still going to be abundance. And that just lets us know through trials and tribulations, God's still abundance. And he's still going to provide and he's still going to make a way. So that's, that's definitely good. a scripture that I need to ponder on. So whenever I feel a certain kind of way, I can go back to that scripture and his word is true. Like, you know, yes, overflowing with abundance. So if yeah, I don't see true. abundance, then I know it ain't God. You know what I'm saying? I need to Come make on. sure I see God in Come everything. On. The abundance in That's our finances, just even with our family, friends, you know? So That's if good. Not over in abundance, then it ain't God. And I want all that God has for me. So thank you so much for that prophetic word. I oh, like that. Man. I like That's that. Good. If God. it ain't abundant, it ain't God. Because he, mm. he ain't giving us just barely right. enough, even in our relationships and our yes. friendships. He's the God of more yeah, than enough. I like that. Yes, he's the God of more than I enough. Like Amen. Amen. Anybody, Anybody else? else? We yes. don't want to cut nobody off. All right. Going once, going twice, going three times. I just times. want to say thank you for the um, awesome song because that was just even prophetic right there. You know, just changing our mindset, speaking those things. So I'm proud of you on that. And that's like definitely something that was birthed and we get to hear the manifestation of it. So you're not just telling this word. We can see it through your ministry and your, you know, your music and all of that. So thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Praise God. Love y'all. Love you. Hope. Appreciate you. Yes. We love all of you. Thank you yeah. so much for so everybody. Be blessed. Ooh, your commitment to this ministry. And um, we're going to let y'all go. Let you got go something, Mars? Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I, 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 I'm, I'm not going to say what all I really want to say because I'm not in the right atmosphere right now. But I just want to say I thank God for the message truly from my heart. And I don't know, but it's so, so good. And that's all I'm going to say right now. All right. All right. <laughs> Look forward to hearing back from you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I will. And get some hot tea. Lemon. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Stop, stop running out of your job and your house without your neck being covered. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, confirmation. Yes. That's right. Can't play around this season. Amen. So we pray for your healing right and now in the name of Amen. Jesus. Yeah. That's right. Cover up. Thank you, God. Oh, no joke. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Thank you for healing, God. In yes. Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you, God. Restoration. Yes. To the sure. glory of God. Amen. Amen. Be blessed, bro. Good to hear your voice. Yes, I will. Good to hear y'all from y'all too. Everybody. <laughs> Amen. Love you. So we love everybody. Um, Pastor Hope, can you unmute yourself and would you mind closing us out in prayer, please? Father God, we just come to you and we're just so gracious and so thankful for your word today that we're just not here of the word. We're going to be doers of your word, Father God, and everything that the word that was spoken of our life have it engrafted in our spirit. So throughout this week, Father God, we will always remember that 
you are God and God alone. So God, we thank you for your glory. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for our man and woman of God to just continue to allow us to grow in you, Father God. So we just give you all the honor. And God, we just pray for those who have lost loved ones during this season, Father God, that you just give them comfort, give them peace and during a time like this, Father God. So Father, we just ask for you just cover them and keep them, Father God. And like the word of God said, you're never alone. So God, I thank you that you fill them with your presence like never be alone in those dark places and those lonely places father god so we thank you we thank you for what you're doing we declare it and all that was spoken over our life today god we just receive it and just thank you for loving us the way that you do in spite of so god we thank you we give you all your all the honor and all the glory in jesus name amen 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 amen, amen. 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 Well, everybody go in peace. We love you. Appreciate you. We'll see you soon, I pray. Love you, Denise. She got her flag going. I was like, go ahead, girl. Yes, amen. Hey, be blessed. All right, Deacon. Kiss we'll keep the baby for us. And everybody, keep Donna in your prayers. Amen. Her family. Amen. 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 Yes. And Womax. And the Womax. They both had a loss in their families as well. Yes, Brandon's brother, uh, sister-in-law. Uh, passed on un and that was suddenly amen so just keep those two families in prayer as they are grieving amen amen, amen. we love you guys love you all right have a blessed day bye. enjoy the rest of your day yep. all right bye angela <laughs>